And there he is on that uh, pale eyes frost dragon mount. Mm. Pale steed. <laughs> so his left click, his uh, gun, it is named Love, um, and consumes three ammo every 0.85 seconds, dealing 350 damage per shot, and can slow enemies by 10%. For two seconds, stacking up to three times, and it is fully effective up to 100 units. And this weapon, uh, as can be seen on screen, also shares, as as mentioned earlier, uh, the ammo pool with his right click, which is the sword. Um, and every hit with the in hand, the gun will give you a stack that can stack up to five times, which will reduce the um, well, reduces the rate of fire in between shots. So you will be able to swing your sword faster for every stack you build up on hitting someone with your gun. And that takes us to his alternate fire, where his left hand carries uh, love, his right hand holds war, or as the name is, rapier. Uh, it attacks, it has an attack chain. Um, it deals up to 350 damage per hit. Uh, it it's shot. fully effective up to 65 units. Uh, it's, a, it's essentially a, a, a small cone area in front of him. It does one hit, one hit, three hits. Uh, Similarly, there is a uh, synergy with the with the gun where it, the more enemies you hit with the rapier, you build up sharp momentum, which increases the fire rate of love uh, by 8% uh, per stack for five seconds, up to a maximum of five stacks. So you fire with the gun, the sword gets better, you hit with the sword, the gun gets better. Yep. And then his first ability, his Q ability, um, if you build up stacks, um, you will see that there are stack counters above each weapon, Love and War. There's also a little arrow counter if you start building up stacks that will appear above the Q ability. And for every stack you have, it increases the movement speed of the projectile that you spawn with your Q. Um, and as long as you have at least one stack, it will stun enemies. If not, it slows them a little bit. Um, and even though each in hand can build up to five stacks, your projectile only can benefit from up to eight stacks. Yeah, out of the ten. So then that takes us to uh, his movement ability, Deadly Momentum. This is going to be a forward-facing dash. Uh, you're going to go quite a bit forward. You're going to deal damage about 300 and knock back any enemies hit. At the end of it, you will stop and whirl in place with the blade. That will deal 450 damage to enemies in range. Uh, and for each enemy you hit with this, it reduces the cooldown by one second for this ability for the next time you use it. Uh, it also um, increases the... Uh, I believe it increases the damage. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of a talent. Uh, you can refire the ability early to stop and whirl of before you reach the final destination of the dash, so you can kind of, at any point in between, uh, cut into the world. And that finally leaves us with his final thing, his ultimate, um, aka Storm of Blades, which you will, when used, will summon five ethereal swords around you, um, which will then be fired off if you use either your in-hand or off-hand, so Love of War. Um, if we could maybe see that in-game? <laughs> Got to get in position. Taste my sword. Dance of light. Right, we see the swords. And again, these these swords will shoot off uh, if you shoot uh, either your in hand or off hand. Love and war. Um, and these projectiles will uh, pierce enemies as well. So you, thematically, very cool. Um, just basically increase in damage that you can output. And any swords not used uh, before the duration, um, if you don't use any for some reason, then they'll just disappear. So if you activate your ult, you want to you wanna use the swords above your head. They don't just, they don't get to stay around like Vivian's friends. <laughs> use them or lose them. And so you said the, uh, the swords pierce through? Yes. If you line them up, you Yeah, that's going to be so good when in those chaotic fights on the point. So it seems like he has a lot of synergy in his kit. It really rewards you for uh, using all of his abilities. That's right. If, if you can... So the the gun is his bread and butter, uh, along with the uh, damaging ability. And if you can get in range, interweaving that sword and gun is very effective uh, by design. He seems like he's going to be a really uh, expressive character to play. We have had... In, in playtests, we've had... Um, 
bystanders comment on how fun it is to watch two Caspians get in sword range of each other and then mm -hmm. do a little duel. Like, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, I feel like everyone who plays Caspian is going to uh, play him a little bit differently. Yeah. And then we can go ahead and talk about his uh, talents. Yeah, first up, we have a Measured Cadence. This is going to affect his damaging ability. Um, so what it's going to do is every six ammo that are consumed, you're going to fire a weaker version of the Rogue's Tempo in the direction you're aiming. So uh, get a little bit more damage out of that one. Uh, maybe we'll see it in game, maybe we won't. Uh, his second talent is Everywhere at Once. Uh, the cooldown of your movement ability is permanently set to 5 seconds and can't be modified, so increased or decreased, and you then now gain a stack of piercing uh, movement or your deadly movement, so either of your stacks for hitting uh, anyone with the first part of your movement ability. And then last up, we've got, it's got some heft. This is going to affect his offhand. Um, the rapier gains increased range and increased damage, but it is slower. Uh, it will also gain piercing, and it will get a kind of combo benefit where the more enemies who are hit by the single uh, fire of it, uh, they will deal increased damage to each of them, depending on how many were hit. That one sounds like the one I would go for. <laughs> yep. Yep. Anything that makes uh, my damage numbers go up, that's, that's what I'm taking. It's definitely the talent to play if the enemies are trying to stack on top of each other, or you have, you know, you have multiple people, multiple tanks, multiple healers. It'd be a great talent to fight them with. Yeah, the more confident you are in closing that range, the more this is going to benefit you. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to use that to take down all the Victor players. <laughs> <laughs> Got a kind of grudge match going on here. <laughs> So, yeah, here we see the first talent being used, um, and six ammo being consumed from either your in-hand or off-hand will, as mentioned, shoot off a weaker projectile uh, version of the Q projectile. And it also, I believe, gets the same benefits and can stun. Don't remember 100%. It definitely doesn't stun at the full duration. I'm pretty confident of that. Yeah. And then uh, we, can, we also have some voice lines we can play. There's his emotes. Cool weapons, huh? They can be all kinds of shapes, you know. But I'll only need these today. Oh, magnificent. <laughs> you could learn a thing or two from me. A marvel, indeed. You are a snow leopard amongst geese. Whoa, watch the stabbing. <laughs> At least buy me a drink first. <laughs> 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 That's my first time hearing that one as yeah. well. Yeah, it's like, getting oh, hot in here. Caspian holding the snow leopard, you guys. I think he likes this. 